Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given this op-amp circuit and in this circuit, these zener diodes Z1 and Z2 clamps the output voltage of this op-amp to plus minus 5 volt. Now initially, this switch is in the closed condition and at time t is equal to 0, it is opened. So here, we have been asked to find the time t1 at which the state of the output voltage will get changed. So first of all, let us see the state of the circuit at time t is equal to 0 minus. So at time t is equal to 0 minus, this switch is in the closed condition. That means the voltage at this inverting terminal of the op-amp will be equal to 10 volt. Let's call this voltage as Vn. That means Vn is equal to 10 volt. And let's say the voltage at this positive terminal or the non-inverting terminal is equal to Vp. So this voltage Vp can be given as V out times 1 kilo ohm divided by 1 kilo ohm plus 4 kilo ohm or we can say that it is equal to V out divided by 5. Now initially we don't know the state of this output voltage but we have been given that these zener diodes Z1 and Z2 clamps the output voltage to plus minus 5 volt. That means this voltage could be either plus 1 volt or the minus 1 volt. But anyway, at time t is equal to 0 minus, since the voltage Vn is greater than Vp, so the output voltage V out will be equal to negative. Or in this case, this output voltage will get clamped to minus 5 volt. That means at time t is equal to 0, this V out is equal to minus 5 volt. And hence, the voltage Vp will be equal to minus 5 divided by 5 that is equal to minus 1 volt. Now at time t is equal to 0, this switch is getting opened. So now this capacitor starts charging and because of that the voltage at this node will start changing. And at one point when the voltage at this node is less than minus 1 volt then there will be a transition in the output. So here we need to find this time t1 at which the transition in the output of this op-amp will occur. So as I said, at the time t is equal to 0, this switch will get opened. And now this capacitor starts charging. So now let us see this portion of the circuit separately. So here I have drawn the same portion separately. So here the voltage between these two nodes is actually Vn. That is this voltage. So let's say the voltage across the capacitor is equal to Vc of t. That means this voltage Vn is equal to 10 volt minus Vc of t. So first of all, let us find this voltage Vc of t. And based on that, we will find this voltage Vn. And using that, we will find the time T1. So initially, this capacitor is uncharged. That means this Vc of 0 minus will be equal to 0. And as you know, the capacitor opposes the instantaneous change in the voltage. That means the Vc0 plus will also be equal to 0 volt. Now at time t is equal to infinity, this capacitor will act as a open circuit. And in this condition, the voltage across the capacitor that is Vc of infinity will be equal to 10 volt minus minus 10 volt that is equal to 20 volt. That means Vc of infinity is equal to 20 volt while the initial voltage across the capacitor is equal to 0. So we can say that this voltage Vc of t is equal to Vc of infinity plus Vc of 0 minus Vc of infinity times e to the power minus t divided by Rc where this R is equal to 10 kilo ohm and this C is equal to 100 microfarad. That means this RC is equal to 1 second. So if we put the value of this Vc of infinity and the Vc of 0, then we can say that this Vc of t is equal to 20 volt plus 0 minus 20 times e to the power minus t. That means Vc of t is equal to 20 minus 20 times e to the power minus t. That means the voltage at this node or Vn of t is equal to 
10 volt minus vc of t that is equal to 10 minus minus 20 plus 20 times e to the power minus t that is equal to minus 10 plus 20 times e to the power minus t so this will be the expression of the voltage v and t so at time t is equal to 0 this voltage vn is equal to 10 volt and at time t is equal to infinity it will become minus 10 volt that means the voltage at this node is going from 10 volt to minus 10 volt and at some point t is equal to t1 it will cross the minus 1 volt and wherever it happens then the output of this op-amp will get changed so to find this time t1 let us put the value of this vn t is equal to minus 1 volt and let's say it happens at time t is equal to t1 so from this we can say that this minus 1 is equal to minus 10 plus 20 times e to the power minus t1 that means at time t is equal to t1 this voltage vn is equal to minus 1 or we can say that 9 divided by 20 is equal to e to the power minus t1 that means t1 is equal to natural log of 20 divided by 9 that is equal to 0.798 seconds that means at this time the voltage at this node will cross the minus 1 volt and hence there will be a transition in the output voltage from minus 5 volt to the plus 5 volt so we can say that this time t1 is equal to 0.789 seconds